get this uh, wonderful event uh, started here with the uh, groundbreaking. Uh, and while I've only been here uh, a couple of years, it's been a real roller coaster to get it to this point. And, and certainly uh, can't imagine how delightful I am with uh, everybody's perseverance and effort to, to get it here. So we've got uh, a few number of uh, speakers uh, before we uh, get to the important part of the groundbreaking and the photo opportunities afterwards. But I'm going to introduce uh, Mayor Clark, who's going to start this off and then function as the MC for the remainder of the program. Mayor? Well, thank you, Vince, uh, and welcome, everybody. It's great to see everybody here at this groundbreaking ceremony on a very important day for our city, our community, our neighborhood, and for as we make progress forward on this. Uh, you know, I want to recognize uh, really all in attendance for being here. Thanks again. You know, some specific references as I get started because it's always the foundation and, and it's been a process. But uh, first and foremost, the residents. Residents that are here, those that uh, were involved and those that voted to understand why this was important for our community as we move forward. The fire station committee, steering committee, many of which are here, the time and effort over the months to refine as we got to, to the conclusion of what uh, the, the uh, facility would not only look like, but how it would function uh, from uh, Chief White all the way on through the, uh, the council members that were there, but also the residents and, and participants. City council, past and present. Uh, we were talking as we started here and talked about the, uh, the, long, the long duration, but it takes, sometimes it takes long. I'll make some comments to that. City Administration, Citizens Plan Commission. I know members of the commission are here in our administration. Redstone Architects and Auk Construction as uh, we hand this off uh, to Auk, but also the hard work that was done at those committee meetings. So for my comments, uh, long process to say the least, right? You think back uh, when we first started this uh, some three years ago. You know, government and frequently on important city and committee decisions and community decisions draws greater attention it needs discussion, all which was important to the process to arrive to this moment. You know, the public input, which was critical and continuous through the process, the healthy discussions and the deliberations. And I think that's what makes good decisions when you feel that you make comments and share those and share them with each other. The communication and messaging that was required to the community and required to each other. The commitment to remain fiscally responsible, which came true as we came to the end and really got down some of the details. Through all this over the past three years and with the com community or community support, we were able to break ground on this site today and begin the process of building this new fire station. Past and present, city councils continue to prioritize not only the need, but also the necessity to build a new fire station. And there's two different things there. There was a necessity, and I think it was recognized. And then the need came to be as we talked through that and how we got here today. At the same time, through goals and objective sessions, these city councils, past and current, consistently included the importance of community development and greater investment within the neighborhoods. This included an assessment of city facilities and prioritization of those needs, which included this new fire station. As this facility and capital improvement project evolved, the focus extended beyond just building a new fire station. It included how to serve the community with a fire station that could meet the greater needs and enhance service. The opportunity, opportunity became available here at this site and purpose for building the fire station at this site in this neighborhood to not only provide a community-wide fire and medical response, but also to provide for a community resource and asset to be shared with the residents. This investment coincides with other great development projects that are currently in progress in the city and within this neighborhood. Completion of a new fire station is a commitment of current and past councils, commissioners, city administration, and as I said, many are present here today. In conclusion, there will be continued deliberations, which I'm sure will be healthy as, as the past were, and need to be, have the public input as we move forward. As the current and as the current and future city councils move forward and as this new fire station is completed and becomes operational, let us represent the first step. And the first step in a long-term commitment to the public toward effective, efficient delivery of service for all our public safety response. It starts here today and I'm proud to be here today and help with this groundbreaking breaking ceremony 
in recognition for all that was done by all present and I know all those will be in the future. Again, my thanks to all the partners mentioned previously, but most important to the residents for their import, their support, and their participation here today. Thank you. So before I step uh, aside, as we have our agenda here, we're going to hear from a few others that were participants, an important role that was played. And first, I'd ask uh, Dan Redstone from Redstone Architects to please come forward and make a few comments. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. So I was told to keep this very short. <laughs> Mayor Clark, City Manager Pastu, citizens of Monroe, we're honored to be a part of this significant project. I think the new fire station is a major step forward to continue the, to protect the citizens of Monroe well into the 21st century. The facility is designed to be used by members of the community for training and neighborhood events as well. The steering committee and city staff has worked diligently with our design team to make this needed facility a reality. It takes leadership to make tough decisions and your elected officials are leaders. I would be remiss if I did not mention Patrick Lewis, Director of Engineering and Public Services, who has kept our team focused throughout the effort. And I also want to recognize Tefra Kowalski, Project Architect, who's taking my photograph as we speak. <laughs> anyway, thank you again. Next year, we hope to see all of you for the dedication where we'll be inside baby having cookie and lemonade. Cookies and lemonade. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Uh, next, we'd ask, uh, I would ask that uh, Vince DiLonardis from Auk Company please come forward and make some comments. Vince. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Clark. Yeah, representing uh, Auk Construction, uh, we're very proud to be here. Uh, we're a construction company that served the needs of southeastern Michigan for over 110 years. Uh, municipal projects are a core part of our business. Uh, fire stations are a big part of that. Uh, the company in probably the last 10 years has built over 11 fire stations in our local communities. And uh, I'd like to uh, acknowledge uh, some of our ALK staff, uh, Aaron St. Dennis, our project manager, and uh, Jim Shankin, who handled our, our estimating as part of the team, and being a partner uh, with the, uh, the city of Monroe, as well as the architect, uh, to uh, respectfully challenge one another to bring the best out in your project. Uh, we realize how important these projects are to the community. That's why we look forward to getting started with this job uh, next week uh, with actual construction. Uh, we're targeting November to be erecting structural steel so we can get enclosed before the winter hits. Uh, and this will all keep us on track for a uh, autumn uh, opening uh, next year, which we'll all be proud to celebrate. Uh, we also you know, commend uh, the community for its commitment. Uh, by uh, engaging this construction project, it'll result in over 34,000 hours of good skilled trade uh, work right here at this site. At peak, we're envisioning about 35 uh, workers uh, building this, uh, uh, this project. Uh, there's over 27 trade contractors that, that will be involved. So it's those skilled trades, the masons, the concrete, the iron workers. Uh, that will be working here and they'll also be training say future workers uh, for the area so uh, those 27 contractors we made sure that we engage the local community uh, we have several local contractors that will be involved in the construction but probably more importantly is that those workers those tradespeople that will be on this job you know will be from the community so again we want to thank you we're very honored to be part of your team and uh, we look forward to a very successful project Thank you. You know, from the onset, we had great participation from our fire department and through the leadership of Chief, Chief Rob White. And I'd ask that he please come forward and make some comments at this time. Well, it's a hot day, um, so I'm going to be brief. Uh, first, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. What, uh, what a great night this is. Uh, We've worked very hard to get here, and it's a great night. I do want to introduce some of my command staff, as well as Chief McCormick, who's here um, from the police department. Uh, I want to introduce my command staff, uh, Captain Brent Newsom, Captain Matt Peremba, uh, Lieutenant Scott Smiley, Lieutenant Tom Ford. Um, 
I also want to introduce some retirees that are here tonight. I see one of my mentors back there, Captain Mike DeSlover, and uh, Charlie Evans, who has uh, done uh, pretty much every job here in the city. Um, what a great night this is for the city of Monroe, the citizens of Monroe, and the employees who work here. I, uh, first and foremost, I can't say enough. I definitely want to thank our citizens for all of their support. Uh, without their support, we wouldn't be here tonight. I do want to thank our city council and our mayor, um, and as well as previous uh, councils. This has been a project that we've been working on for a very long time, and city council, you've been uh, behind this project the whole time, and I want to thank you for your support. Uh, Redstone Architects, um, I started uh, you know, uh, with Redstone. They've, I've worked side by side with Tefra and Dan, and I want to thank them for all their hard work and the debates we've had and will probably continue to have. Uh, Auk, um, I want to thank their staff. They came in a little late, um, but they really got us focused on the project. And a lot of their work is still to come, and I look forward to uh, working with Aaron and his team. Um, I do want to recognize Vince Pastu. Vince Pastu uh, is the city manager. He came in a, to the project, and he really, uh, he, um, his leadership, I want to thank you for all your leadership, and, and um, it, it really helped. Uh, I also want to thank the steering committee. Some pretty tough decisions were made by the steering committee, and uh, I think that uh, we, we're going to put a, a great project uh, on, on the table for the citizens. Um, and lastly, I want to thank some of my staff, uh, Captain Brent Newsom, uh, Lieutenant Scott Smiley, Lieutenant Tom Ford, as well as uh, some of the firefighters, Chad and uh, Dan Little. Um, they helped me with a lot, of, a lot of the planning, and there was other guys, too, that I, I, I want to thank. Um, the fire department uh, was established back in 1837. We've been serving the community for almost 200 years, so I can imagine that we've had our share of groundbreakings uh, over those 200 years, but this one is uh, it's really special to us because it's going to have our footprint uh, for the next 80 to 100 years, it's going to be serving this community, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. I took over as the chief, probably about, uh, it was actually four years ago, almost to the date, I took over as the fire chief, um, and right away, well, excuse me, I attended staff in command, and I, some of my staff also went to staff in command, and we brought all these great ideas back from staff in command um, to help better serve the community, uh, and also to reduce risk in the community. Um, we brought all these ideas back, and uh, unfortunately, the current facility didn't allow us to move forward with a lot of these programs. Uh, this new station is going to give us uh, and provide us opportunities to develop and grow all of these programs. Uh, programs like our CPR and AED classes, uh, first aid classes, our fire extinguisher classes. Um, we have uh, we want to do a senior fire safety classes, and we also uh, incorporated a uh, car seat safety program. And we have a lot of other ideas that, that we'd like to move forward on, and this new facility is going to give us those opportunities to move forward. Uh, this is also going to help us improve our training um, for our firefighters and PSOs as well. Uh, it's going to modernize our training. Uh, our current sta station uh, technology is not a big thing, and this new station is going to help us with a lot of the technology. Uh, I, I kind of told you I was going to keep this brief, so I'm going I'm to end it there. But uh, I'm very excited about the future of this. Um, I look forward to seeing all of you guys at the, our grand opening in a year. Actually, 11 months is what Aaron promised me, uh, 11 months. <laughs> so I look forward to seeing all of you there. Hopefully it's not, actually it's not that hot out here. I, I, that was, uh, I was thinking it was going to be 100 degrees and it's only 90. So <laughs> it's a good night. Uh, thank you again everybody for coming out. And uh, let's get some shovels in the ground and get this project started. I think the mayor has a couple yeah. more. Thank you, Rob. I really have nothing further than just, again, say thank you. Uh, a couple of quick announcements, though, of course, as we get started. We'll first uh, be with the groundbreaking, and there are opportunities for multiple, uh, um, uh, I'll say, photo sessions of not only current council, but uh, previous council, planning commission, the steering committee, uh, as we uh, do that. So please, uh, if you're on one of those, uh, please stay close. We can kind of move through those quickly, because after that, there is cake. And small giveaways and thanks for your and appreciation for your attendance here this evening so i just want to say thank you again this is a really is a great day for the city of monroe for our community our residents and the delivery of our service as we move forward and uh that's it thank you so if uh, council first and i have the list or pat has a list to go through those i'll pass it along thank you all and clerk chief Two, three, and what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Ha, ha, ha. 